check it out that is not the blue truck but that is my boat we are going to kentucky lake if y'all watched my videos very long you know i went to kentucky lake this year and it was awful we're going back to kentucky lake now my little brother has the high school national championship him and his partner go up there fishing we gotta go up there and figure something out different time of year now never been to kentucky lake this time of year so we're gonna try to fish some current try to find some consistency try to catch us 17 pounds a day and see if they can win a national championship it's gonna be a fun week We have, that is Matt and his partner. We have made it to Kentucky Lake. His partner's name is Cruz. We're fishing, been fishing about an hour now. No bites so far. Trying to get back in a sneak hole right now. Trying to find something for these boys to win. Normally when I practice, I practice extremely fast. I don't try to get bites. This week's gonna be a lot different. Getting bites is gonna be extremely difficult. So figuring out a way to get bites in practice is gonna be pretty important. So the plan for this one is to fish a little more than I normally do. We jumped in the boat from out here, a big old Asian car, man. What oh the? My God. Oh, Dude, what? Somebody get him. Pick him up and throw him in. Get him. <laughs> Just jumped in the, <laughs> Just jumped in the freaking boat. All right, so me, Matt, and Cruz thought we had found a sneak hole, but there were some boats out there fishing, and I guess they saw us come in. Four boats coming in right behind us. Scared one, anyways. Yeah, about a four pounder. If he could ever grab him. 25 pounder? <laughs> yeah, 25. Let us know what what we do on day one. Absolutely nothing. Sucked. We caught a four pounder. That's it. That's all. We didn't find out anything. So we drove south today. We put in at New Johnsonville. We're gonna go even further up river. That's gonna be about a 30 to 40 mile run from Paris. So well, to where we're gonna end up, it's gonna be probably 50 mile run. So we're gonna try to find some current. Try to find some fish that are a little bit easier to catch because around Paris yesterday was pretty tough. Caught one fish. Went to the meeting last night. There's 300 boats in this thing. I've only fished one tournament my whole life with more boats than that. So, it's gonna be one of the biggest tournaments I've ever been a part of. We drove seven hours, and that's my first fish. How about that? Spotted bass. How about that hook set though? Okay, so set the hook on the shift on the screen. Oh, spinning pole, you got brain? Keeper. Well, he's 15 inches, should be two and a quarter. Big him? Big him. Big him. Oh my god, dude. That is a big Boat flop. Should have said hook on him. I should have said hook on that one. Let me see him. It's four and a quarter, four and a quarter. <laughs> I 
No, that's a five, dude. No, look how short he is. He's a 19 inch. Oh, that's why he looks so big. Yeah. Do you have? Dude, look at this dude. Look how fat, dude. I know, dude. That's why I thought he was. Gosh. Like, like I, I saw, I saw you. T you had him turn to me. I saw the for the top of him, like his head and his stomach, dude. He looks freaking huge. Four, four ten. So that's like four pounds and two ounces. Mm -hmm. Boom! Check that out. That's a good one. Yeah. Bad as can be, dude. That's a. Okay. Like a butterball. That's a keeper. What? We gotta take this off. Or just. I mean, honestly, we should probably just start marking it, you know? Yeah. That's, that's I say we just ride. Market. Ride market. That's probably the best thing to do. That ain't no keeper. He's close. He's 14 and a half. Right? 14 is... You, can, you uh, can't squeeze the tail, remember? Yeah, I know. But you, you, you can do that. That's what you do is you fan it. He's not a keeper. So he's, he's almost that's a... That's a right there. If we catch a bunch of that, that's going to be upset. That's a fatty. <laughs> that is a fatty. That's a good one. That's a, that one's as big as the dude. keeper I caught earlier. Dude, dude, weigh him. So I don't know if y'all can hear me or if y'all can see it good on video, but look right over my shoulder, both ways, at these flying carp. That's a big leg. Oh, shit. God, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, they scare me so bad. Oh, oh God! God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> like, like, they want to get that back. Oh, dude, I almost got in here. Oh, God! No. <laughs> that was fucking huge, dude. God. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. Everywhere. Oh. Dude, get him! <laughs> Gosh, dude, look at that. He destroyed everything, all the blood. Gosh, dude. We gotta move him because it's illegal to possess him. God dang it, dude. This is rough. They're down in the freaking jack In the jack plate. They're so gross, dude. They just crap everywhere. They're disgusting fish. Yeah. Dude, that was a freaking good one. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Oh, gosh. That was a car? Yeah. Dang, dude. Matt, give me the update on yesterday. Um, pretty good. We got it. We got them figured out. <laughs> got them figured out. Kinda. That's a true mark. We, we have a we have a spot to go to. Uh, we got a few spots. Got a little pattern, but bites are very for rare. So I mean, tough, tough. If somebody ever tells you they got them figured out, that's a sure sign of a rookie. No doubt, no doubt. I ain't never had them figured out my whole life. All right. So like I said, it's day three of practice. But before we get into today's fishing but for the people that don't know kentucky lake is full of an invasive species of asian carp that jump whenever they get scared there's two types one kind jump whenever they get scared so that's the kind you just saw 
it's kind of cool to see so that thing actually <laughs> jumped into my lap when i was sitting there island out across this flat jumped over the side of the boat hit me in the leg obviously i didn't want no part of that as you can tell by the video <laughs> scared me to death them things are disgusting they get a uh, slime and crap and they bleed all over your boat so i didn't want it on me for sure but that's what happens when you're fishing kentucky lake right now Been shaking them all off today, but got one on the chatterbait. I ain't rolling over the hook on a $20 chatterbait. Is it a big spot? No, it's a large man. It looks like it's right, it's not a spot. My bad, dude. I shouldn't have done that. I just screwed up. Caught one. That was not smart. Let's see how good I can see it. If I can see my hand down in six inches, there's a bass right there. What the hell are you doing? See him? Look, big and big and see him? Yeah. He's got it right now. He's up. Not, why? He's a four pounder. Why would I set the hook? You see him? He ain't gonna let it go, dude. In the world, tell me these fish you gotta finesse them. Oh my god, tell me you gotta finesse. That's a three and a half. He ain't a four because he's so skinny, but I mean, dude, check out that scum line that is from Kentucky Lake. So, home now. Me and Matt had a good time this past week. This video you just watched was the practice video. We didn't make an outro for it. I actually I thought I did, but for some reason I didn't. But that was the practice days. Basically the first day of practice, we fished around Big Sandy Creek, went all the way back in there to where um, we thought we could catch some fish and it didn't really work. So day two, put it down around New Johnsonville, fish current, and that day we had the bites to have probably 18 to 20 pounds. I obviously, after I caught that two and a quarter, two and a half on a frog, then a four flipping, we took the hooks off and I know for sure I shook off a four pounder, Matt shook off a four pounder, then we shook off quite a few more fish. But we only caught, caught two keepers, but we shook off enough to have 18 or 20 pounds. Day three of practice, the last day, um, for some reason I didn't get the footage that good, but I know for sure we shook off two four pounders, one on a frog that you saw right there, that was insane. That fish actually was just sitting there on the bank, I threw a frog up to it, came over, ate the frog, and swam around for like a minute and a half. And every time that, fish would spit the frog out it would float up it'd go eat it again it happened like six or seven times and then finally i put him right beside the trolling motor and i mean i had didn't never hooked him he was just swimming and i i've had he had done came right beside the trolling motor i'm trying to take the frog out. he's still trying to pull it away from me while he's five feet away from the trolling motor it was insane so third day of practice we shook off two four pounders and then we shook off i caught a three and then we shook off probably four or five more fish so that day we probably had 17 or 18 pounds if we would have caught everything but Tournament days always change, so this was the practice video. 
the, those carp are absolutely insane. They're disgusting, so I hate them jumping in my boat. Obviously, I was acting pretty scared of them. I'm not actually scared of the fish. It's just they're gross. They're slimy, and they crap everywhere, and they're bloody. And they do have a hard head, and they try to jump at you as fast as they can. So, anyways, y'all going to want to hit the subscribe button because the next video has some of the coolest footage I've ever seen in my entire life. It's awesome. I've already got it recorded. I already got plans for it. It's awesome. So if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. Y'all want to check back in a couple days for that next video. It's going to be cool.